Hello, I'm Karen Algersma at Coast Collective in Colwood, and you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, getting ready for the big one, the story of Galliano Island, and what's hot for spring fashion. All that and more on Go Island. Hello and thank you so much for joining us on Go Island. We have a visually stunning show for you today. Because we are at Coast Collective in Colwood. That's not only a gallery and an art school, but it is a beautiful piece of real estate. Charlene, tell us the, the vision behind Coast Collective here in Colwood. Coast Collective was basically put together as an outlet for the arts community. We wanted to bring uh, artists together and give them a place where they could display their work. We hang work in various venues throughout Colwood, uh, the Juan de Fuca Rec Centre, um, in various doctor's offices and restaurants and that sort of thing. And just tell people where you are because I am, I'm torn. Do I look at the art? Or do I look at Mother Nature's art out the window? It's beautiful. Where are you guys? We're located on Esquimalt Lagoon at 3221 Heatherbell Road. We have this FCA, Federation of Canadian Artists, Juried Spring Exhibition on. We have over 50 pieces in the show. It's just some amazing work here. Well, and that's, that's the joy of a show like this, is that you get the best of the best from the artists. So um, we're going to show you a sneak peek of some of the cool things that are happening in just a moment. But first, did you know that there's an estimated 4,000 earthquakes in Canada each year and of course living here on Vancouver Island we're considered the most earthquake prone city in the country but are we ready are we prepared for the big one Nikki Iwanishan has a story you're gonna want to watch Thank you so much for bringing us that very important story, Nikki. Of course, one of the things you want to think about is where you hang your art, because if there is an earthquake, you don't want it falling on your head. Or just come to the Coast Collective, because all the art is hung perfectly, and it's beautiful art. Uh, Marnie, you are part of the Federation of Canadian Artists. Yes. You're one of the jurors. Yes. Now, explain to people who don't understand what that means, how does the process work? Well, we have three jurors in all of our shows, two senior signature members and one associate signature member. Okay. And we try to get a diversity of artists so there's different, they themselves have different styles or mediums. And we go through independently and look at all the work that's been dropped off for jurying. And usually we end up with about half the paintings that are accepted into the show. These are the finals. This is first prize, this is third, and this is second. And look how diverse they are. This one is done in graphite, this one is in acrylic, and uh, this one here is a watercolor. This one is just right in your face. It's it's just got that feeling that a poppy has. And yeah. she's just gone for it with watercolor. She's sort of throwing the paint almost on the paper. Yes. Whereas that graphite Graphite is very controlled and yes. contained and it's black and white and the girl is kind of all wrapped up and has a very different contorted almost kind of a feeling. We are going to head now to one of our South Gulf Islands, Galliano. Of course, like every island, it has a story of its own. And as you open the pages and experience chapter by chapter what this island is all about, it just adds to the magic of this beautiful place. I'll let Jen Moranitz explain. We are here in Colwood at Coast Collective, a place where art is celebrated and loved. And, and one of the artists that is part of the very special show that's going on right now happens to be standing right next to me. And her piece happens to be right here. Marnie, tell us about this piece here. Um, well, these are Angel's Trumpets and I, I paint in watercolor. So I basically just try to present each painting the way the flower grabs me. We work with what? kind of turns us on. I know. <laughs> because we want to get that feeling and that emotion into our paintings. So. And I have to tell you, it's here. I can feel the joy. I can feel those feelings. We are going to continue to show you the really cool stuff that's happening here. But first, we have to take a quick break. But please stay with us, because when we come back, we're going to show you what's hot for spring 2013. And our very own James Green is going to take us golfing.
We're here at Coast Collective in Colwood where the art is full of color and richness and, and life. And what a beautiful facility you guys have. What does it mean to you as an artist to be able to hang your work in a place that is so fun and interesting? Oh, it's very inspiring. You come into work every day and there's always new art on the walls. It's always changing. You can come one week and see something and the next week there's something new to see. And we are going to show you a piece that Charlene did that I really, really want. It's so beautiful <laughs> in just a moment. But we have to take a quick break, but please stay with us because when we come back, James Green is going to take you golfing. Welcome back to Go Island. We are at Coast Collective, where not only is the art spectacular, but so are the artists. When you painted this, it was it joy? Was it happiness you were trying? Or was it just the colors? What, what was sort of the vision I behind this? I was very inspired by all the shadows on the poppy. And I loved the center of it and the action and the movement that was in it. The sport of golf truly is holy for many. Well, I'll let our very own James Green explain what I mean. That's what I love about you, James Green. You will try anything once. Now, a bald eagle in golf is called one over par, two over par? Two under par. Or under par. Can you tell I don't golf? It's better. <laughs> it's better. And if you want an opportunity to have this beautiful painted bald eagle, how, Charlene, can people get it? Well, you need to come out to the Coast Collective and you need to enter our viewer's choice draw just by choosing your favorite painting and you could have the possibility of winning this Gicle print donated by Mary Conley. I'm gonna to continue to wander around just by myself. I'm having so much fun. And thank you for watching. We so appreciate that you take time to hang out with us.